Babe, what? what are you wearing? Whatever. Joe, <laughs> babe, there comes a point where, you know, you have to remember that our videos are public. What's your point? Does, it, does that matter to you at all? Nope. Hi, B. Hi, B. What's he doing? Is this what we do in our spare time? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, at least they can get away from a moose. Yeah. Be careful, B. He don't like the board. He doesn't like it. Come on. Go across. Come on. No, we're not you. Gunner's like, I'll do it for the camera. <laughs> Are you my brave puppy? You're so brave. You're so brave, B. Yeah. Now if a moose ever attacks you, you can just run right up on top of the shed. Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are gonna have a, a bit of a relaxing video after the last one. How about that tree fort, huh? So many of you asked in the comments if we were sore the next day. I don't even think the word sore covers it. Like, Joe literally came in at one point and said, I quit. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean you quit? Like, what does that even mean? And he's like, I'm done. My wrists hurt so bad. My shoulders hurt so bad the next day from lifting that roof. And then my hands, like, were like cramping closed from holding that rope and trying to pull that roof on there with Lexi. It was, it was horrible. So we are all exhausted. That took us about four days all together to build that tree fort and I just told Joe I was like wow that was a doozy like we've built a lot of things chicken coops greenhouses pig houses all the things milk stanchions that was a lot of work and I think the main reason is because it was built up in trees everything was harder but 
this video, we actually are gonna be focusing on a little bit of, shall we say, spring cleanup. With the warm, sunny weather, all the snow is really, really starting to melt now. I thought it would be fun to take you guys along for kind of like a day in the life spring cleanup, get it all done with us type video. We just got done with school. Kellen usually gets done with school before Parker. I think that, well one, Callan's curriculum is a little bit easier because he's in first grade and Parker's in fifth grade. So Parker's into like all the fractions and the decimals and all the things. But Callan has realized very quickly that he controls how long he is sitting at that kitchen table. Parker only did kindergarten in public school. I pulled him out in first grade and we've been homeschooling ever since. But Callan, on the other hand, has been public schooled his whole life. So he realizes, hey, I can roll out of bed, get my books out, get my work done, and then I'm free to go play outside all day. Where Parker kind of, you know, meanders about his lessons a little bit longer, which is totally fine. But I just think it's cute. Kellen, sometimes before he even eats breakfast, he will come straight downstairs, grab his books, and sit down and start knock knocking out his lessons, which I think is awesome. And then he's free to go play outside, which is kind of nice because then it gives me a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time with Parker to work on his curriculum, which in fifth grade is a little bit more challenging. Anyway, spring is in the air, the weather is warming up, it's time to pack up some of these gloves and these muddy boots and get everything put away for next season, get some things cleaned up around here. So with that being said, let's get to it. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. coffee that's a good girl <laughs> what are you working on emptying the trailer out emptying the trailer out yeah. well I got a empty got the windows clean on the inside I just need to finish cleaning the outside of them you need to clean your car yeah I'm gonna take that through the car wash how am I supposed to rock then fix the board on your trailer oh. Maybe we could actually clean the porch off so we can put the chairs on the front porch. It is clean over there. No, it's not. There's room over there. All that flooring and stuff is over there. Oh, yeah. That it's way nice. we don't have to sit on the trailer anymore. Dude, I can probably put that in the generator shed. Yeah. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that needs to go somewhere. You know what I've done with that? I'm just saying, when I do a drone drive-by of the cabin, it looks like Sanford and Son. Like we have spare doors and I've seen those off-grid Alaska TV shows. We don't have to look like that. <laughs> I still like my house to look organized, Joe. Well, 
what happens if I need that for a generator shed or something? I, I mean, by all means, I agree, keep it. You never know when you need a spare door. But it doesn't have to be in the front yard. Yeah. Uh, Just saying. Hold on. Are you going to try to get a video. move the trailers around so we can have... Yeah. Okay. Did you get that enclosed one all cleaned out? Yeah. Good job, Joe. So we're going to be taking Lexi into town, the nearest town, probably in the next few days to help her get some furniture that she needs for her new apartment. And she doesn't move into her new apartment until the first week of May. So there's nowhere to store any of the furniture until she moves in. So we've cleaned out the enclosed trailer that you guys have seen in many of our videos that we use to do our supply runs. And that's where we're gonna store Lexi's new furniture until she moves into her apartment. Do you see it? This? Yeah, look at that. This is the problem. I look like a peacock or a chicken. Oh, I look like our chickens with little mohawks. So here's what happened. I had this grand idea to get curtain bangs. Can you tell me why I thought I was gonna go get some curtain bangs? Uh, look, I don't, I don't have time to do my hair. And even when I have time to do my hair, I don't wanna do my hair. I did my hair for years. When I was in the military, it went back in a bun, of course, a very slick bun. But when I got out of the military, I was a realtor. You guys know that. I worked as a civilian contractor for the Coast Guard, um, or with the Coast Guard, I should say. And I had to curl and crimp and straighten and look cute in business casual clothes every day. And I just, I just don't care that much. Uh, I do like to look good for my man. You guys know I like to look good for Joe. I've always taken care of myself, but on the real, I am not that mom. You will never see me do, I'm not hating on anybody. Don't, don't, don't be like, oh, so then I'm a problem if I do that. I'm not the mom that gets up for like a day in the life and comes in here and puts on a full face of makeup, curls her whole head of hair to sit down in my yoga pants and do school with my kids. for why and then you have to wash all that makeup off at the end of the night it's me and Joe and the kids like if we're gonna go somewhere or have you know we're going to an event or a barbecue or something I might put some curls on my hair put some eyebrows on some mascara or whatever I just that's just not who I am anymore and anyway I just was getting bored with my hair it's super long you guys so I'm like let me go get some curtain bangs but the problem is curtain bangs have to be styled you can't just let them be you either have to blow dry them blow dry curl them right or curl them or something and I just don't do it so now I'm at this in-between stage where they're almost grown out where they're gonna fit back in with my bun but not yet so if you guys see my peacock feathers in any of these future videos that is why because I had the stupid idea to get my bangs cut yeah that's what we do, right, ladies? We're like, oh, I'm gonna go get my hair cut. And then we hate it. And then we tell our husbands, don't ever let me do that again. And then we go and do it again six months later. You know? <laughs> Look at Rusty, he wants to help you. Rusty. I think he's just scared of the dogs. We are taking the plow off the Polaris for the season. Some might say, oh no, what if it snows again? Well then, we'll put the plow back on, but I'm pretty sure that last big snowstorm was the worst of it. Everything is thawing out, so we're gonna, you're fine. We're gonna take it off, and we're working on rearranging all the vehicles on the property. Like I said, everything was just, just, just everywhere. And unfortunately, we have so much snow still, we can't really make more room until that melts. Snapped a couple times, huh? Oh, he had to rig it up, Honjo. Huh, <laughs> See how 
how Joe did on this enclosed trailer. Okay. You guys should have seen it before. <laughs> All of our extra wood supply was in here. Now we just got a few things. Our little deep freezer we have yet to use. Joe's table saw. But we can fit all of Lexi's furniture in here to store it until she moves into her little apartment. The front deck is leaving. <laughs> Joe's backing up the Polaris and we are gonna move this big trailer. Our, this is our snow machine trailer. We're gonna move it over onto the side of the house because we have a ton of cardboard that we have to get burnt up that's been stashed away in the sheds for months and months. I don't know if you guys can tell from other videos, but the snow has really gone down. Like just a week ago, all these down trees, you couldn't even see them. They were completely covered. So it is really starting to melt and I'm excited because this is kind of the area where we're gonna be putting the, the greenhouse. So we're not gonna be doing a garden this year because it's our first year here and we just have a lot of other stuff going on so I just don't have the energy and the time to put into everything that comes with starting a brand new garden this year but we are going to be starting the uh, greenhouse foundation for the greenhouse area <laughs> and then working on building the greenhouse throughout the summer and the fall as we get time to do that so that hopefully next spring it's going to be ready for our garden for 2024 but i'm excited to see that snow melting as you guys probably remember last fall joe and i came out here with parker for a week and we downed all the trees that were in front of our solar panel and they are laying under the snow here so as soon as this snow melts we have a really big task of getting down here chainsawing all these trees apart and hauling them up to our woodshed which is yet to be built so that's another thing we have to do is build a really good woodshed that we do not have yet and thankfully this is on a little bit of an incline but thankfully we have the polaris ranger uh, so we'll be utilizing that to haul all that wood up once we get it chopped up so we're not breaking our backs carrying it by hand
that certainly looks a lot better. Gave us a lot more room out here. He's watching the ashes go up in the sky. <laughs> what is that, Rusty? What is that? The boys are playing hide and seek with the dogs. Where is he, Gunner? They have the dogs sit somewhere and tell them to stay, and the dogs will stay while they go hide. And those dogs will literally search this property until they find the kids. It is so funny. Parker's in the back of the Polaris right here. Look at Bradley. He's like, is he up on the shed? Where is he? Where is he? Get him, B. Gunner got that nose going. Gunner is usually the one that sniffs out what they're looking for. Bradley is really smart too, but Gunner, that nose, like you can hide anything and he will find it with his nose. He's amazing. Bradley's like, no, I found him. <laughs> Bradley? Yeah. He found you, P. You gonna do it again? Yeah. Just get up there and like hunker down. Between the trash cans. Between all the stuff, that way they don't see you. Right there. Yeah, yeah. Right here, right here. Hunker down. Right here? Yeah. Where's he? Where's he? I know, that's the first place they went. Where is he? Where is he, B? Look, Gunner's like, maybe he's in the back of the Polaris again. Oh. <laughs> decided that they want to double up their lessons today so that so they have don't school have to have tomorrow. school tomorrow. So they've been doing school most of the day and Parker is helping Kellen with his lesson being a little Mr. Teacher. All right, go ahead now. Let's see okay. what you got. Kellen, ready? Mm -hmm. Circle Y when it is a vowel, so A-E-I-O-U. Remember the vowels? Mm-hmm. Okay. Put an X on Y when it is a consonant. Okay. The beauty of homeschooling, right? If they wanna do it that way, they can do it that way. They worked so hard today while we were cleaning up outside to double up on their lessons. And it's just really cute because with each lesson, there's a new concept and Parker decided to get my teacher key and teach Kellen the new concept with vowels using Y. And it's just super cute. So tomorrow, they're gonna have a day off because they worked extra hard today.
I'm looking back Eyes on the freeway Bonnie and Clyde A classic cliche We're on the run This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out They're so good at that. Build tree forts and make meatballs. You want to share what your new job is? <laughs> huh? Uh, What's your new job going to be? A teacher. What kind of teacher? A little kid teacher. Preschool. Yeah. The booger pickers. No, absolutely. What are you going to do, do when a custom. kid throws poop at you? <laughs> You're funny. That's not going to happen. They're three years old. It'll no, happen. No, my children will be little angels. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Are they going to say, hey, Miss Watson? Is that what they're going to say? Yeah. You're going to be such a cute little teacher. I'm so proud of you. But for real, when he throws poop at you, what are you going to do? How would you handle that situation? Hey, Miss Parker. So do you want the YouTube answer? No, we want the real deal. I don't Lex. think I can actually say that on YouTube. Would you go to jail for no. it? Oh, of course not, right? No, for real, you can't put that in there, though. <laughs> you know, I'm going to tell you what you do, okay? Mm -hmm. You just pinch them behind their See, arm. See, I was thinking throw them in like the trash right can. Like right back here. Uh, yeah. Because it's yeah, very right tender. No, but when I was little, no. I used to get babysat by a lady named Lovite. She's a Mexican lady. She had some really good food. But whenever we were bad, she would like pinch us behind the arm right here. See, didn't that hurt? Mm -hmm. It's very sensitive back there. And you don't really see that spot. So if it bruises, nobody really knows. That's, yeah, child abuse. Yeah, but you know, Lovite... That's just how they do it. In fact, I think that that's how more people should do it. Maybe we shouldn't. If more people were like Lovite, no, I agree. we wouldn't have teens taking over Chicago. Yeah. No, I agree. Am I right? Maybe you just need to slap the kid in the mouth sometimes, you know? Or flick him. Well, Remember when I flicked sure. you? Was it you or Parker? It's probably me. I flicked you in Walmart with my acrylics and I accidentally made your lip bleed. That was Parker. Oh, it was UP. Yeah. yeah. It was an accident. But he didn't do it again. But he didn't do it again. He was throwing a fit because he didn't get what he wanted. And I used to just flick him in the mouth. But I had a acrylics. <laughs> you just thought and his arm was dying. And I felt so bad. But I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. We need a little bit more of that. It's homemade sauce. I just made it. Okay. It's most definitely not homemade sauce, Joe. I just made it. No, you made it out of a can. I made it at home. Mom, look. So you guys know I'm back on keto, doing good, almost on like day 13 or 14. Already lost three pounds. Tummy's kind of like a little better. I don't want to jinx myself, so I won't report on that yet. Joe started today. He was avoiding starting because he had a bunch of Reese's cups and Twix and Oreos. milk duds and Oreos and what else did you have, Joe? top ramen and all kinds of stuff that is not keto friendly. So of course he's like, I just need to eat it all first before I start. So he started today. So tonight for our dinner, we are having zoodles with meatballs, kind of like spaghetti and meatballs, but a no carb version as far as like no noodles, right? So the zoodles take the place of the noodles and they're actually really good. I actually prefer zoodles over noodles now. We've been eating zoodles since the One Acre Homestead in Virginia. We're gonna make regular noodles for the boys though. Not because they don't like the zoodles, but because there's not enough zoodles and I want a lot of zoodles. So we're making the boys noodles. Are you guys all just waiting for something to drop on the floor? 
all got my cookies. It's dinner time. Oh, it is dinner time. So yeah, three um, well, <gasps> Place? Oh, I'm so confused. So, <laughs> Tell <laughs> Joe. Ollie's like, what does that mean? Ollie, go. Come on. Brother and sister and brother. Yeah, and Place? Place? Sit? Sit? Good boy. Pump of that stuff. Ollie, stay. Yeah, we give him a pump of the salmon oil. And a little blob of bacon fat. Well, sit. Stay. How are you doing? Ollie. Ollie. Go. Ollie. 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 Go. Ollie doesn't like to make eye contact, but I think he's doing really good because. When he first got here, he was like, what are we doing? Why are we sitting by the front door waiting for our food? Yeah. But he's quickly learned. And he sits there and he's learning place too. Yeah. Even when I tell him, you know. And he makes eye contact for a minute, but then he's like, okay, that's enough. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! 
Well, hey guys, good morning. It is the next day and we are going to continue our property spring cleanup, if you will. It's definitely gloomy today compared to yesterday, but the temperature is still decent. I've got a light jacket on just because it is still a little chilly. The main project for right now is getting the underneath of our front porch cleaned out. This kind of became like our storage area before we had got the shelter logic and a couple of the other sheds. It was just a place that was somewhat protected from rain and stuff like that. So we originally had stored our firewood under here. Some of the contractors we had working on the cabin before we moved here stored some stuff under here. The kids sleds. I mean, you get the idea. It's just become like the catch all for everything. So we want to get this cleaned out, restock this firewood. Joe also wants to maybe chop some of this up uh, for firewood. It's just kind of stuck under here. Obviously we can't put these big long pieces. What was that? <gasps> we have a rooster. <gasps> That's what that was. We have a rooster in our bunch. Listen, maybe it'll do it again. Joe, we have a rooster in there. It just crowed twice. I was like, oh my gosh, what does that sound? It sounds like a dying chicken. It's a teenager rooster. <laughs> yes, we were hoping we at least had one rooster. We like to always have a rooster with our flock. We might even get more than one. You guys know how that goes. Is that him? Oh, you're gonna be the main honcho, huh? What's your name gonna be there, friend? You're gonna be in control of all these chickens. <laughs> Joe, I think we might have two. Yeah, we might. Look at this gray one back there. That gray one's huge. <laughs> hey, buddy. Probably didn't like you, so she's like, oh, just give him all the rooster. <laughs> well, that's exciting. We were hoping we had at least one rooster in the bunch, and it looks like we do. We might have two or three, but we have to wait a little bit longer. One of them for sure was just crowing. maybe eventually extending this porch out a little bit and creating like an Arctic entryway because up here in Alaska and for those of you that live in cold climates with snow and mud, you know that the boot situation is a struggle. <laughs> so we would like to maybe one day do an Arctic entry, but extending this porch out would be really cool because then we can have a spot for like a patio table and things like that in the summertime when we barbecue because we do barbecue a lot. And even screening it in would be nice because the mosquitoes up here in Alaska are really something. So, but for now we're gonna just keep it the way it is. We have a lot of projects on the list, but that's something eventually we would like to do. Bradley, come back 
here. What are you doing? That's not a throw stick, sir. That's called firewood. <laughs> oh, dog. No, no. Ow. Yep. Lexi took off to go to town this morning. She had to go get fingerprints done for her background check for her new job. Just in case you're wondering, that's where they're at. A little sister-brother bonding time and Callan's hanging out here at home with us. Stop. No. He thinks it's a snowball. Riley, that's cement, bud. It's so funny, Joe, we got here when it was snowing, so he's like, I don't know what to do without all the white stuff. The sledding hill's gone, Callan. Aw, <laughs> he says. The pond is uh, slowly starting to melt down, it looks like, kind of tell. Did it when it was frozen. Yeah. Mm. Well, this looks a lot better than it did. Nothing under there but the firewood. Nice and clean. Suddenly you told me, baby, you're lost. 
Anyway, we thought it'd be fun just to take you guys along with us for a little bit of spring cleanup around the Alaska homestead in the cabin and oh, that's not what I want to say. I hate it. Is that funny, Lexi? Yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying this. But with that being said, I can't do it now that you're listening to me. I thought you were sleeping. Anyway, it's trying. Okay. Anyway, it's time to get some things cleaned up around here. Put some of all these glow. Oh. <laughs> you gotta stop. It just gets worse the more you keep trying. Yeah, it's on. And action. Okay. What the freak? We don't say action. We're not really Hollywood. Cut. <laughs> Take working? three. Action. Okay. No, I'm gonna be like, you don't do that. <laughs> right in the mouth. You can't do that. <laughs> you done? Are you He's panicking, Joe? Wrap it up. Do I need to wrap it up? Oh, need to wrap it up? Yeah. <laughs> and well, I need my cut. Cut! Ouch, that hurt my hand. I thought you were done recording because your arms were tired. You should be a rapper, dude. Ready? Okay, Making me some zoodles. The boy's getting noodles. Go. Oh, no. 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 Gonna get us some poodles. No, we're not because they're ugly. Ew. I'm sorry if you have poodles. Don't. It's They're cute. Oh, they're... No, I'm on keto. Mom. Ready, I said, ready? Ready means get ready. I didn't say go. Ready means ready, like ready, like ready it's on. Ready means a question, like are you okay. ready? You can pretend. 